a one, a two, a one. Oh, I can't do it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie. I know. Okay, so I just got like seven vaccines, bruh. So my arm is really feeling a little tender. I can't give you the traditional Jackie O'Dan, but I can give you like a more toned down version of it. Okay. One, two, three. Hit it. Jagged, 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 jagged. Check it, check it, check it. No, but for real though, I really feel like I got socked in the arm. You guys have been there, you know how it is. I got a couple trips coming up in like Christmas, holiday stuff, like I'm traveling to different countries, required vaccines, you know the drill, you know the drill. So I had to get all of them today. And also if I seem more like chill than I normally am, it's cause I am. I've actually been wanting to do a video where I show you guys how I pack my makeup for the past couple months now. I've done an older version of this video. I think I did, wasn't that cute? Like I really could give you, you know, like a 4K version of it, an upgraded version of it. And yes, I have been asked how I pack my makeup, like the safe way to do it quite frequently. I do believe there are some steps that you can take and that you should take if you are a beat face glam girl like myself. You know, like I bring options, honey. Like I wanna have makeup for cold weather, hot weather, humid weather. I wanna have all my palettes for cool, tones, warm tones, glitters, like I wanna have options. So I'm gonna show you how someone like myself, which personally compared to how my friends pack, I don't even think I pack that heavy. This may be a lot for some of you, this may not be that deep, but I'm gonna be showing you how I safely pack my makeup and like just some tips along the way and like what I do, my routine, all that good stuff. Today's video is also done in partnership with Audible. This is actually a service that I like to use while I'm packing. I'll either put on like YouTube videos or an audiobook. Basically Audible, if you don't know or if you aren't familiar, which I'm pretty sure you are, sis, because like I talk about them all the time, but they just basically like read books to you in the form of your phone, this little device right here. It's also available on the iPhone, iPad, Android, and the Windows phone. You can listen to news publications, podcasts, books. I use the service a lot. My boyfriend uses the service a lot, especially when I'm doing something for like, where well, I'm gonna be sitting down for a long time. Right now you can actually try the service for three months for $6.95. If you are a person who reads a lot of books, that's like a really good deal. Audible also has their own originals, which are exclusively available on Audible. And it includes a diverse plethora of storytellers and literature and journalism and all that good stuff. So yes, text Jack Anna to 500-500 or check out the link in the bio, audible.com slash Jackie Ina. So shout out to Audible for coming through for today's video. I feel like I'm so stiff, y'all. <sighs> Um, so anyways, like this video for vaccines. <laughs> um, <laughs> and while you're at it, can you please go out and support my good sis, Michelle Obama's book. She is giving us some gems. She is teaching the girls. She's really teaching the girls how to form within yourself before you check for a man to do it for you. Her autobiography is on Audible. And girl, I signed up for that bad boy. Ow! Signed up for a month ago. I love her. I admire her so much. And she, in my opinion, is just like the epitome of a role model. So check out that book. Anyway, you knew where I was going with this. I don't I don't wanna keep talking too much. I gotta go to sleep soon. My flight literally leaves in like five hours. I don't know why I'm such a procrastinator, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started. But subscribe first. I'm not playing with you either. I'm looking, I'm, you better press, you better press that button. Press it, that's what I thought. Now, if you ever make me wait longer than three seconds again, I'm gonna find where you live. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, okay. So first let's talk about tools, honey. Or should I say bags? I'm a bit of a bag snob. I like a particular bag when I'm packing my makeup because I used to be the kind of girl that had like a bag for foundations, like a bag with like 90% of my makeup and then everything else compartmentalized everywhere else. And like, that's really annoying. So I discovered, well, I didn't discover it. It was given to me <laughs> in PR. This is a bag from Jouer and they actually sell these on their website. And this is like their exclusive like luggage Jouer Vuitton travel collection. And it's really cute, very dense. So as you can see in relation to the side of my hand, it's pr pretty, pretty deep. You know, I found that like most bags just weren't big enough. Like the girls just didn't have the range. This I feel like is just the perfect size. I think if it was any bigger, it'd be a little intimidating. So you open it up and you have two little mesh, um, I guess, entry pockets, you can say. Um, yeah, it's really hard traveling with the Benefit Brow Gel. Let's just not even talk about that. Anyway, okay, so I'm a little new to this whole filming and aerial view of things. So if there's a couple things that I didn't quite perfect, please excuse me. Anyway, back to the video. So this cute little bag from Jouer Vuitton Travel Lux Collection by Virgil Abloh. You get this flap here, and I just realized this second flap zips up too. That's kind of cute. Too bad I'm up here. 
All right, so you open this up and basically, don't judge. I know she looks a little janky. I do actually clean her after every use, but you know, little normal wear and tear. I actually do use her. So number one, numero uno, the best tip that I can give you for how to pack your makeup, especially for the everyday fabulous makeup diva, is pack your makeup in the order that you wear your makeup. And that way you'll never forget anything, okay? So what's the first thing I usually do? Primer. Also, just wanna say thank you to the brands that give us travel and mini size products because that right there is gonna make your life so much easier and packing a lot lighter than it needs to be. So I usually wear two types of foundations when I'm traveling. I tend to bring something that is a little bit more demi matte, something that's a little bit more long wearing. And then I'll bring another one, depending on how the weather is, that is a little bit more moisture infused. So I'm gonna start with my Too Faced Hangover RX primer. And of course I would pair that with the Born This Way. Those are like a match made in heaven. And then for my more matte, long wearing oily skin compatible foundation. I'm gonna pack the Pour and Shine Primer from NARS as well as the Natural Radiant Long Wear. I do have to say that this really has kind of like really been what I've been wearing more than Sheer Glow or oftentimes I usually mix them together. I think they look incredible paired together. So I'm gonna bring this one and maybe throw in Sheer Glow too. Natural Long Wear Radiant and Sheer Glow. I have a pump that has a lock. So if you turn it one way, it's unlocked. If you turn it the other, it is locked. So I'm gonna pack her. <laughs> you can't put on your makeup with your hands. Well, I mean, you can if you're Sandra Deluxe and if you're just so freaking talented, you can do that. I'm not gonna clock you. I'm not one of those people though. I use this middle section for like my powder products, my liquids, foundations, all that good stuff stuff and jazzables. And then this little pocket back here towards the front. The outskirts is what really can take the beating. That's where I've had my brushes. This stuff is, I guess you could say, in my opinion, the most fragile stuff. But anyway, back to brushes. See this penis. Come on, you guys already know she stays flawless with the NYX foundation brush. This is my favorite foundation brush. And I always bring three because I'm a bit of a germaphobe. And I also like to have like one brush for each foundation. So, and then like a backup just in case. I don't know if something happens. A dog bites one of my brushes in half or just some tragic freak accident and I misplaced one. Just, you know, have a backup, okay? Yes. I also use the Farsali Skin Tune Blur a lot. I'm going to New York City and I don't foresee me using this product because this is what I like to use for more hot weather, um, you know, warmer climates, but I'm gonna bring it anyway because you never know, New York City be very unpredictable. I'm sorry, I kind of jumped ahead. This is still skin prep stuff. So I also use the Lancome Visionaire Eye Blur. I love this for under eye. It makes things nice and smooth, nice and buttery. Kind of like a primer for concealer, so I'm gonna pack that too. So after I've done my foundation, I usually move on to concealer. And I like to, again, just like I have two types of foundation, I like to bring two types of concealers. One of these is your beat face concealer. The other is a little bit more natural, a little bit more moisture. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and Too Faced Multi Sculpting. I'm gonna bring both. I use Chestnut in the Too Faced one and Amand. I tend to bring both of these. These are like the ones that I travel with the most frequently. One time I went to Vegas and I forgot to pack beauty blenders and I seriously wanted to start a riot. Never again. I had Postmates bring me some, so it ended up working out. Beauty blenders have their own home. They pay rent. They are usually pretty timely with that. So they have their own compartment. They have their own section. And usually I like to put it right over here next to where the brushes are. And as you can see, sorry, let me backtrack. I packed three of them. One for powder. I always use the black ones for powder. I don't know why. I think it's because I can physically see the product on them. So it's just easier for me to keep track. So I keep one for powder. And then I always bring two. It's literally a short trip. I'm probably only going to end up wearing makeup one day, but you never know. Always nice to have situations because as you know, makeup for dark skin girls is very hard to come by. So uh, when you're on the go and you need some travel back like I'm usually screwed depending on what I'm looking for. Like for example, one time I forgot bronzers and girl, finding bronzers that actually were dark enough on me while traveling was a mess. So anyway, I like to prepare for emergency situations. So we apply our concealers with beauty blenders and the beauty blenders are packed away like cute little eggs. Next we need setting powders. I use three kinds. I like having one to sweep off like excess powder, one to bake, and then one that matches my complexion. And fortunately, this is the only one that I have that comes in travel size. You guys, I'm gonna need y'all to step it up and start giving us more travel size powders because these are cute and everything for like the bathroom counter, but like your girl trying to go to Bora Bora, so keep it cute. After powder, I usually do my brows and I just instinctively grab the mascara because it was right next to it and I obviously don't want to forget. And all of my pencil products, I usually put up 
here in these mesh flaps, including like lip liners and stuff. We'll get to that later. So we prep the skin, we prime, we do foundation, we've done concealer. All of this at this point is literally only done with these brushes and a sponge. Now it gets a little bit more technical with shadows. Now, general rule of thumb, depending on where I'm going, depending on what the trip is, you know, the purpose of the trip. For example, if I'm going on a NARS trip, I tend to bring more NARS stuff than I normally would. If I'm going on a Pat McGrath trip, I will bring more Pat McGrath stuff than I normally would. And this isn't a Pat McGrath trip, but I am going to be shooting with her this week. So I'm just gonna pack my Pat McGrath palettes. I mean, I love them anyway. So like on a non-brand trip, I would just bring them, even though once again, this isn't a brand, you know what I'm saying, right? And these kind of tend to be the top two that I reach for the most, but I actually only really feel like I'm gonna need one for this trip. And I'm gonna put that to the side, but I just wanted to show you, you know, following the whole order of how I put my makeup, but I don't actually pack shadows in here sometimes, but we'll get to that later. And then the second palette I'm gonna take is the Atomic Blonde from NARS. It has like sculpting and highlighting in it, which I don't know who the hell they sculpting, but it show is LA me, because that ain't my color. But I do really like this strip of the soft, gold and bronze colors and I feel like everyone can create a look with this palette. It's super minimal, not super intimidating. You know, obviously traveling smart is the goal. I'm gonna start pulling out some eye brushes. I'm gonna take the Morphe. Actually, you know what? I just ordered like a bunch of new brushes from Morphe and they're clean so I might as well just pack these. But I really like the M532 for blending and diffusing. Looks like that. I will pack her accordingly. I also tend to use M441s a lot and this is a more tapered blending brush for like, you know, like inner corners and like really fine detailing. So I'm gonna pack two of those just to be safe. I don't even think I'll need two of them, but why the hell not? We got room for them. And my suitcase is about to be so light because I'm not even packing that much stuff. I'm also gonna bring some lid colors. I really like this one from Zoeva. It is the 234 Lux Smoky Shader. Fabulous brush, oh my God. So amazing at picking up like chunky glitters, satin, pearl, you name it, it's awesome. Anyway, this was not meant to become a mass like review of all the stuff that I use, but you know, I'm just going through what I would typically grab. I would probably also throw in like a flat shader brush, a fine detailer, just in case I want to cut a crease or cut somebody, you know, it's just really just a brush for every scenario. I'm gonna bring something a little more dense. I'm gonna bring a pencil brush and then I'm gonna bring a more flat blending brush because I don't know what kind of stuff could go down. It's New York City, girl. You just need to be prepared. Oh, but this one I use a lot for my inner corner. This is the E45 because she's like really tapered. She's really good for like really small areas. So remember how I told you guys I use a powder to like dust off the bake? Well, there's only two types of brushes. Actually, there's really only one type of brush I use for this step. And that is just something long, fluffy, but also really tapered. So I'm gonna pack that. That's the Sigma F37. By the way, my code with Sigma is Jackie Sigma. It's still very much so active and still very much so used all the time. Get them while you can. They seriously make some of the best quality brushes. Ooh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to bring a liquid highlighter. I always bring a liquid highlighter and I apply it with a flat powder brush, especially if I'm going to like a cold weather climate. Liquid highlighters or cream highlighters I like just to kind of add a nice lit from within glow. Sometimes I feel like powder highlighters are just so powdery. <laughs> So I'm gonna throw that in. I'm gonna pack a bronzer brush. Yes, some of my brushes are loved. They are not completely, completely clean. Don't judge. Uh, you ain't gonna do nothing about it anyway. I'm gonna pack a bronzer. You guys know I'm more of a bronzer girl than I am a contour. So I'm gonna put that right in this space here. I'm gonna pack a blush brush. I don't know what it is about me. I used to hate, like, hate these kinds of brushes. Hey is a strong word. I don't like saying this. I have been completely, utterly, and stupidly obsessed with these Pat McGrath blushes. And I'm not gonna lie, one thing that makes them stand out for me is the fact that they're super sleek and super thin so I can just literally slip them right in and two things I always pack on a trip is a coral blush which doesn't look coral at all on camera please hold while I transfer your call so that's more true to color of what it looks like sorry did I say coral that's more of like a peachy yeah that's more peachy and I always bring like a mauvey pink these are like my everyday daytime colors so we packed our blush brush next we have to pack a highlighter brush I really really like this for highlighter lately so I'm gonna pack that y'all remember when I was so obsessed with opal like opal used to be my ish for real. This one is Dreamsicle. I really like it. I think it's just a gorgeous peach blush that like every chocolate girl needs. And I always end up packing the peach. It's just a beautiful skin topper, beautiful on the eyes, beautiful in the inner corners. It's just gorgeous. Always bring something liquid. I also like to take something pink or purple with me. This one is from NARS. It's called Maldives. Now I wasn't always a fan of NARS highlighters, but in 20s, 
16, the girls definitely started coming for everyone's throats and stepped it up finally. And I'm gonna bring one more that's a deep gold. Chocolate Geode from Becca's also one of my favorites. This one is St. Barth's from Mars. Always, always, always have lash options, okay? This is so extra Miami, a little bit more flirty. This is more my daytime lash, right? This is a slightly more dramatic version, but this is so extra Mykonos. And as you guys know, Lily Lashes, like they're so extra series is like, you know, like they have the Mykonos and then so extra Mykonos. That just means like a little extra oomph curl. This one is a really long dramatic pair, but in my opinion, it's still kind of daytime wearable. And then I really bring like a super dramatic glam lash. This is Instaho from Batty B Lash and my lash glue. I use the duo with the black kind, so I stick that right in there too. I'm gonna put a lash tweezer in there or a lash applicator, whatever you wanna call her. And while we're on the subject of tools, I'm gonna throw in a mini pair of scissors and honey, never forget a fresh tweezer, girl. Let me tell you something, I've had some moments <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna bring some fun little eye extras. I really like this Diamond Lights finisher from Artist Couture, and I would usually put those in this back pocket here. Remember, I have three of them. I don't know if you can see that. Beauty blenders went here, cheek and bronzing products went here, highlighters and such. And then back here, I tend to put the eye extras, you know, the glitter glues and the little extra adornments. So just for why nots and buy nots, I'm gonna pack a couple of these Stila Liquid Glow Shadows and a Dose of Colors Cream Gel Liner. I use this as eyeshadow. Got to pack a blush brush. I like using this brush for two. This is the Mr. Right brush. So I'm gonna throw her in there too. I just realized I forgot to bring a contour concealer and the brush for it and also like a skin tone concealer. So I'm gonna pack those two. I'm gonna throw in a couple eyeliners. I usually bring a black. I usually bring like a bronze gold, like a beige off white. Put that here. I also have to bring a setting spray. You know what? Why not? I'm gonna pack an extra lip balm. I'm also gonna pack a pencil sharpener because you know what? Heaven forbid I'm on the go rushing, applying eyeliner and it breaks and I'm in the whole Hotel, struggling to get through the evening. But anyway, um, with lips, it's pretty much the final step in my makeup routine. I always bring a peachy nude, duh, okay. I also tend to always have a nude pink. I always bring a matte red lip. Now you can't put anything that's too, too tall up here. So I feel like these liquid lipsticks are probably the tallest it can go because otherwise you won't be able to close this or it'll just be like super bulged and bulky. Then I'll bring like a soft pink muted lip gloss. This one is from Botan Beauty, African owned, Canadian brand, Muslim owned, love them and these smell so good. They're like one of my favorite glosses right now. And then for lip pencils, I'm going to pack them in the liner pocket. Can I just say, I took off one lash, girl. I've had enough, I'm so tired. So this is pretty much all packed and good to go. I always bring makeup wipes with me, not for what you think they are though. I actually use these to like spot clean my brushes on the go. So like I might do my foundation and then pull a wipe from here. And these are like really, really wet and juicy. That's why I love using them for my brushes. Okay, don't you hate showing up to a hotel and like not knowing if the lighting is gonna be good or if it's gonna be terrible. And then you basically doing your makeup in the damn basement, okay? This is the most extra thing you will ever see me carry. Ooh, uh-uh, not my cheeks looking like that. So this was a mirror gift that we got on a Jouer trip. And what's incredible about it is it has its own lights that get really, really, really bright, really bright. Then you can also set up like your Bluetooth and do all this extra stuff. I don't be doing all that, girl. I'm just trying to get my makeup done and leave. I'm already late as it is. This is amazing. It's like the perfect size, as you can see, compared to my hand, like it, you can see your full face. And it comes with a stand. So the days of one, trying to figure out where you're gonna do your makeup, how you're gonna do your makeup and what lighting, and then like trying to set it all up. Those days are gone, honey. Get yourself a little portable mirror. Can I believe I used to travel with a little small ring light? I mean, it was great, don't get me wrong, but this is just a game changer. It takes the same charger as like Android phones. So that really comes in handy. I always travel with an Olay Mist, but I'm not going to pack this in my makeup kit. I'm going to bring this with me on the plane, like in my purse purse, you know, my little everyday bag. So I always have the mirror with me. I always have my cute little bag and that's pretty much it. I always have a facial spray with me. I'll also bring a sheet mask, usually something that's got like aloe and tons of moisture because then planes be nasty, sis. I'll also always have wet wipes with me. I don't know where they are, girl. I misplaced them. They somewhere in the other room. But I just like to give the seat a quick courtesy wipe because we don't know what passenger Suzanne was doing in 6B, so just to be safe. And yeah, that pretty much covers the important stuff. This is how I pack my makeup. Now, I've taken off one eyelash, and uh, as I told y'all, it's like 3 a.m. now, and I'm not putting my tripod back to film the outro, and I show as hell and put my lashes back on. So what you gonna do with you and all your boredom is just hang out here and clip the next video. You know you want to. You know you ain't got nothing better to do. I'ma just count to five. One, two, five. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.